Aloha, I just want to take a few minutes to say some very big thank yous for this concert. Uh, for our main sponsor for this concert, Kanalea Ukulele, thank you so much for donating this amazing ukulele. We'll talk about that giveaway in just a second. I want to also thank um, our other sponsors and supporters, um, Hawaiian Host, the Ukulele Site, Artist Works, GHS Strings, Ukulele Magazine, uh, Ohana Ukulele, Anui Nui Ukulele, Lele Music Productions, and Fusion Bags. Um, and also to all of you who help support this concert series from purchasing the digital programs, uh, for even being a part of our uh, first concert with Herb Oto Jr. and purchasing that, thank you so very, very much. To enter our giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, uh, make sure you're subscribed to our channel here, and right below in the replay, your favorite song of the concert. That's it, that's how you get your first submission. To get your second submission, all you have to do is purchase a digital program on our website. The first drawing will be pulled on December 18th. With that, you will get a chance to win two bundle CD sets with Carly's CD and our Christmas album, two of the GHS custom string sets. We have an ukulele magazine subscription to give away, as well as an ukulele site membership. The main giveaway here on is going to be actually be pulled December 25th on Christmas Day. We'll let you know who won this guy here. And again, the same rules apply. If you're here with us live for the, the um, premiere, you actually have a chance to win um, a whole bunch of Christmas chocolate goodies from Hawaiian Host. We'll have one CD set and one string set as well as a subscription to our Artist Works Online Ukulele School. For this live premiere giveaway, all you have to do during the premiere is in the live chat, just say something nice, anything, anything nice, and you'll be entered. We're gonna keep track and put a spreadsheet together. At the very end of the concert, we're gonna be pulling a name from all of you who entered. Now, without further ado, please enjoy this concert with Carly G. Aloha and welcome to our Backyard Concert Series, concert number three. This next artist that we are featuring is absolutely amazing. Her first album won the Nahoku Hanohana Award and she is an incredible multi-instrumentalist. We know that you are going to just love her music. Her songwriting is just so incredibly lovely. Please welcome Carly G. All right, first, before I start, I want to thank Craig and Sarah for having me on this concert series. It's always great. It's always a great opportunity to play any sort of music for any sort of audience, you know, just getting out there, stretching the limbs, doing something, you know. Uh, so this first song is an original song that I wrote around in 2019, and it was kind of right before the pandemic, and I kind of wrote this song during my senior year of high school when... I kind of thought during graduation, you know, me and my friends are gonna go experience the world, gonna go see different places and stuff. And then 2020 obviously happened and I graduated with a PowerPoint on the news pretty much. So um, this song is really also very special to me in a way where it was actually another song of mine that got played on the radio and that kind of stuff is always really crazy to me because, you know, starting songwriting as a younger kid I never really expected it to go into that domain pretty much. And hearing that for the first time, you know, that Carly G, this is 95, you know, that kind of stuff is really mind blowing. So this song is super important to me and I love it so much. So I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. This is called 95, but once again, thank you guys so much for having me and let's get started.
this feeling go Let me stop by this the weekend And you can even tell me what I'm thinking And driving by slow, don't want to see you go Just take a second by my side And I, what it feels nice when we're sinking I have it now, feels like I'm dreaming I've been seeing you for a week And baby won't believe how much I want you by my side And I, ooh, Just ain't fair. I just wanna tell you that. Yeah, I tell you for your love, I go highway to highway on that 95. I run through every city. Why even try? Oh no, oh, don't wanna let you go. I see you smile. I tell you all my jokes go one by one. And if that's not enough, I go until we see the sun. Oh no, oh, don't wanna let you go. Oh. oh, oh. But you wanna sleep in You always know exactly what I'm thinking Missing you now And can you show me how To get over this feeling I can't make it right Ooh. Mm -hmm. I wanna be there And life just ain't fair I just wanna tell you that Yeah, I tell you for your love I go highway to highway On the 95 I run through every city Why? I hope no, oh, don't let this feeling go. I see a smile, I tell you all my jokes go one by one. And if that's not enough, I go until we see the sun. Oh no, oh, don't wanna let you go. Oh, I take a favorite shirt and let's go. I don't wanna see you anymore. I got eyes in the sky, I'm faded, I faded, I mean the jet, so don't take it too far. And why I always gotta talk so fast? Now I really wanna make this last. But I'm just saying, I'll be good, so I'm wasting. I know, I know that I really fell in love, yeah. You know that I miss you a lot. But you gotta do all the things you do, and I'm so proud of you. You know, it's true, I see you one day, but till then, remember that highway to highway on the 95. I run through every city, why? Oh no, oh, don't wanna let you go. I see a smile, I tell you all my jokes go one by one. And if that's not enough, I go until we see the sun. Oh no, oh, don't wanna let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Carly. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. One of the things that Craig and I absolutely love about your music is your sound. And it's not something that people typically think of when you say ukulele, right? So what was it that helped you find your sound? I think with the whole looper and keyboard thing, that was really a big, big contribution to what I do, obviously, since that's yeah. my main components. And actually, it was never really in the picture of performing because when I first started, performing was more uh, kind of with just the ukulele, you know, just gotcha. singing an ukulele. But then I started using the looper as more of a practice thing, actually. I'd never, gotcha. I used it for a while just for practice. I never thought about bringing it with me on stage and um, you know since playing by myself a lot and my family not really playing I had to kind of practice with myself and that kind of stemmed from oh I can I can compose a song in a different way when I perform it with this looper yeah and then we added the synthesizer I had a different one beforehand where it could, it could only do uh, keyboard sounds not this drum oh, that's where this yeah, element yeah. came in only three years ago I started wow. doing using this one that has more of the percussive instruments and I can do a little bit more variety of sounds with this guy, but that's essentially where it came from was just because I needed something to practice with. And I always find that funny. kind of funny that, um, yeah, this this was never the, the goal. Like this, right. it just happened spontaneously where I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then I thought, oh, this would be kind of cool <laughs> to right. kind of have like a base to back me up or something. Yeah. And then it just evolved. 
That's really awesome. Now, do you have any advice for those that are, you know, trying to find their sound as to like how how can they find theirs? Yeah, I think a lot of it with music, it's a lot of experimenting and it's a lot of trial and error mm -hmm. and overall experiences, you know. Obviously, you're not going to find the right thing maybe the first time or maybe right. even the first 10 different times you try. But, you know, there's always going to be some sort of different element that you're going to fall in love with or that you'll stick to. And I think anything in music, the best piece of advice is always, no matter what, is just to keep trying. Yeah. And I think with that also for sure goes with your sound and figuring out what you really want to do because there's so much you can do with music, right? Yeah. There's so many different ways that you can go and I think also just experimenting and just having fun also too yeah. is the basis. Just having fun, figuring out what you want to do is pretty much the essential part of choosing that. Nice. That's awesome. Great advice, Carly. Thanks. All right, so this next one is another original that I know Sarah really likes, so you know, I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. This one is called For You. And I actually wrote this for Kanile Ukulele's 20th anniversary CD, which is also being included today. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy the song and definitely, definitely check out that album because it features a bunch of amazing artists. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna get this one started. This is For You.
so this next song is actually a cover by uh, Kimie Minor. And I'm super, super grateful because for the past couple years, she has actually been mentoring me with stuff like songwriting and also getting performances and basic kind of more inside knowledge of the music industry itself. So I'm super grateful for what she's doing with for upcoming artists with Haku Collective. So be sure to check that out if you're definitely interested because it's such an amazing community that she's helping bring up and I'm super grateful for everything but um, yeah this is New Day. So just before that last song that you did, you mentioned the Haku Collective. Now, would you mind telling us a bit more about it and when you started getting involved? Yeah, for sure. So that was a songwriting camp that I joined a couple years back. And that was the first time I really got involved with Haku Collective. And that was with a whole bunch of people that were into songwriting and also experienced songwriters because, you know, you always have the opportunity to learn from each other, no matter how experienced you are. So we all just went there and... Uh, after that, some of us stuck around and we actually, uh, we formed kind of like a group. Kimie formed us a little group and we had a mini like showcase performance thing. Cool. And for that, I actually was music director involved in that. So Hi. that was something cool that I never done before, you know, kind of yeah. like leading a pretty big group of people and just yeah. doing something with music that's kind of not the performance side. Because I also too, I did perform a little bit, but not as much as I typically would. Right. So also just, you know, organizing things, phone calls, all that kind of stuff. It was like a really good experience. And ever since then, I've been with Haku Collective. And nice. um, I think what Kimi is doing is super great because she just wants to kind of push the younger generation or just other people that aren't really that into performing a little bit out there to give people a chance. You know, it's, it's really hard, I think, sometimes to kind of push yeah. yourself. And for her to kind of help you take that first step, which is also always kind of like the hardest part. 
Yeah. She's doing a really great job with kind of just getting getting more and more people out there in music. For me, Haku Collective, personally, I'm not really doing anything upcoming right now, but you can always check up their website, hakucollective.com, because all of the different artists and all the different people under there are always doing something amazing. So That's I highly awesome. suggest it. Cool. For those of you that have purchased the program, that information is actually in your digital packet. All right, so we're going to go into our mini Christmas seg segment here now. Uh, this is going to be the Christmas song, which is also on my Christmas album I released last year. So if you guys want to check it out, you definitely can on all streaming platforms such as Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, all that good stuff. So yeah, without further ado, this is the Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire And Jack Frost nipping at your nose You'll tie cows being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Oh, how to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep Very special. 
special Christmas for me. A huge thank you to you. Yeah, well, thank there's you. absolutely. Oh my God, this is it's our pleasure. Oh my, it's we're so excited. I mean, and the rest of the songs coming up are awesome. But I, the another reason I want to just say thank you though is you brought this beautiful instrument. It's so gorgeous yeah, to definitely. us from Kanilea. So this instrument is one that is our giveaway. So we just want to say thank you, Carly, for bringing it, and thank you so much to Kanilea Ukuleles for. Uh, donating this instrument for our giveaway. Uh, we have details in the description uh, below that uh, tells you how you can win this, win this instrument. So just make sure you're on our mailing list, you've subscribed to our YouTube channel and all that, all that jazz. So just absolutely gorgeous. This is actually the Honu model. Um, so it has the beautiful uh, Honu, the turtle on the sides, and it's premium koa. It's absolutely stunning, and it is a concert size. On our website, you'll also be able to see sound samples as well as photos of this absolutely gorgeous instrument. So I have a burning question that I've wanted to ask you this whole time, which is, what was it like for you, first of all, when you were nominated for an Ahoku, but then you won the Nahoku. Like, <laughs> seriously, that's huge. Yeah, that was, I don't know, for, to put it in words, it was just crazy. You know, I, yeah. It's something that I was always watching as a kid with yeah. my parents, you know, tune in to just see the music and see local music being yeah. um, showcased more on like a really main, major way. Yeah. So being in it, though, was something that was mind-blowing. <laughs> we actually were listening to the radio because um, Shannon Scott and Mele Pana were uh, announcing for the female vocalist category, which was something that I was thinking, like, oh, it'll be, it would be really nice to be in it, but I yeah. wasn't expecting to get into it. And we yes. were waiting on that radio, that radio announcement, yeah. like it's eight in the morning, right before oh I went gosh. to school, and they said my name, and I was like, oh my god, no way! Like I was, I went to school that day, and I was telling all my friends, and they're like, what? Because, because you know, right, right. I don't think teenagers really know or something but I was I was super excited that whole day I was so stoked and then that when the night came the actual night oh I was gosh. so nervous beyond belief also too I had to perform so oh, you're, oh yeah yeah that was crazy I was I on the car ride there I was like kind of nervous for the first time in a really long time you know just getting there and realize whole taking the whole situation and you know yep. just really thinking about it I was like I was like whoa this is happening yeah and that whole night you know R&B came and that I was not expecting to win. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I was not expecting to win. I was just really grateful being there. Right. Right. I was like, my dad was telling me, like, yeah, like no matter what, like you know, you yep. you got here, and that's still huge. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I was thinking, like, yeah, like it's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna have to get up. I'm just gonna chill right here, eat my steak still. And I was right? just like, I was like, yeah, whatever. And then the guy said to have fun, Carly G. Ah! And I think I it didn't register for a little bit. Yeah. And I was kind of like. Okay, and then and then everyone around was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I was like, "Oh wait, that's oh, me!" That's and then I was like, um, "I was like, oh my gosh!" So you know, went up oh, there, cool. and yeah, even after like weeks after, it still didn't really sink in because it's yeah. And then even now, like it's in my room, oh. on my desk, like the little hoku, and I just look at it sometimes. I'm like, I'm like that actually happened. That wasn't yeah. a dream. I didn't make that up. <laughs> That's but, cool. Yeah, that was something I was super grateful for, and you know, obviously just being 
getting there was not on my own. You know, so many people helped me out. My dad helped me out yeah. so, so, so much. And I'm super grateful to have such supportive parents, him and my mom, also my sister, super supportive. Everyone around me is just super, super supportive. And That's even great. people like you guys, you know, just helping me out in music in general. You know, I'm super grateful for everybody that I've met and everybody that keeps on helping me throughout mm. this journey and I'm just super grateful so that's something I'll never forget and always super 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 stoked about and always grateful so that's thank you oh yeah thank you. absolutely and you know Craig and I have been you know traveling and doing uh, a bunch of stuff with ukulele and all of you folks out there who you know are running the festivals and things make <laughs> sure Hire this lady. She is so <laughs> awesome, as you've already seen. So, you know, we're really excited to be able to help you even more and to see, you know, see you travel and tour because we know that you're, you're going to go far. And it's just, <laughs> Thank you. it's really exciting and awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So this next one is a song that I've been doing kind of since the beginning of my times of performing, and I never really get sick of doing this song. I love it so much. Um, this one is Valerie by Amy Winehouse. It's another simple song, just ukulele and bass. So I hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is, once again, this is Valerie by Amy Winehouse. Thank you. 
your ginger hair and the way I like dress. Won't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of me. Oh, why don't you come on over So I'm going to be doing my last song. This is uh, another original. This one is called Galaxy. And this one is on my latest full-length album called Train of Thought. And you can also check that out on digital platforms like iTunes. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed sticking around with me and listening to some music. And I hope you guys will continue to support Craig and Sarah with this series because it is truly amazing. You don't want to miss out on future performances because I know they're going to be great and I know you're going to love them. So once again, thank you so much. I'm Carly G. And yeah, this is Galaxy.
Bring up Craig and Sarah, we can do a last song for you guys, but thank you so much. Thank you. Aloha, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the concert. Also, a huge thank you, of course, to Carly thank G. You. Thank you. Um, we know that her music is just going to go far. There's just, I mean, you're already so young and you're already creating such amazing music. So we're really excited to see your career just thank you so much. skyrocket. <laughs> um, so both Craig and I are just thrilled that you are here and those of you guys out there if you would like to su continue supporting this series you can always make a donation or uh, purchasing the packets that we have for sale as well um, just thank you all so so much it's just a real pleasure and we're gonna leave you with this tune thanks Carly for playing with us oh, thank you thank you uh, here we go with winter wonderland <laughs> Everybody. And of thank course, you. Craig G, my wonderful husband on bass. I'm Sarah Maisel. Thank you guys for joining us thank for this you. really awesome backyard concert. Happy Woo! Thank you. Thank you.